Well, hello there. <laughs> it's time to talk trash. You're watching The Candy Show on YouTube. Don't forget, just days from now, Vloguary will start. But for today, it's time to go over the empties that have accumulated in the month of January. I'm going to start with basically face products. Denise used up one of her Clinique Smart Night moisturizers. This is the box for the new one and the package is in there. She's enjoying these. They're giving her dry skin what it needs, but they're like 75 bucks a pot. So we're still going to continue to kind of cast around and see if we can find something she likes equally as well, but not so expensive. Particularly because uh, she uses a lot. So I, one of the things I've done is I've changed up her face wash. So she loved this by Ula Henriksen, the uh, Clean Truth Foaming Cleanser. But when it comes right down to it, someone with skin as dry as hers shouldn't really be using a foaming face wash. So I changed her from this to the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. And she's noticing that is helping a bit, not having to use so much of the product. Because at 75 bucks a pot, it's like every three weeks, she's like, okay, I need a new one gets a little crazy. So I finished this for her. Um, I love it. Even though I'm 49, I could still, I had very oily skin when I was young, so I can still get away with a foam cleanser. That is the day version of her Clinique cream. It's called Clinique Smart with SPF 15. Same goes for this one. This was awesome. Um, I laugh at it on some level, okay? It's the Peter Thomas Roth uh, Clinical Skin Care Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Hydrogel eye patches. Now I laugh because when you read the back it says something about sucking the water um, from the clouds. Acid attract and retain up to 1,000 times their weight in water from moisture in the atmosphere to lock in hydration. So I don't know about sucking water from the clouds and putting it on my under eyes. Here's what I do know. These were gel pads that felt incredibly refreshing, incredibly moisturizing under the eye. I think I paid $60 for this, which had 60 pads in it. So 30 different applications for Denise and I. Um, when you buy eye patches just like in packages, it's generally like even the cheap Sephora ones I think are like five bucks for one pair. So when you think about how many you get in this, it's I highly recommend it. We used it up within two months, which is their recommended time period. Every gel was saturated right to the very bottom because I was waiting to see, you know, would it dry out. But the way that they have constructed the container, I think I kept it all in, yeah. There's the lid, but then there's this airtight seal that, and then you, you get a little scoop that, look, I can still feel the moisture in there, that allows you to uh, scoop out each of the gel pads. I love it. So I would buy these again. The only reason I didn't buy them again is because I tried the other ones just like this, but the cucumber. So we just got those in. We're going to go through those and check them out. I want to try all those different varieties until uh, we figure out which one we like best, but highly recommend. Yes, if you love the hat, came from one of you. Pearl, one of my first viewers and subscribers, uh, knit this for me at Christmas and I love it. I've been wearing it all the time and I wanted to wear it today because it matched with this sweater. And this lipstick, which is the Color Envy lipstick by Estee Lauder in the color Envious. Such an easy to wear red. Another face product, this is Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. I think I've told you before, I love this. Here's what I hate, when you buy it in full size, it comes in a tub. Um, when you get it in small size, it comes in this great tube. I wish you would make it in a tube in the big size. This is a Christopher Robin hair product that I love. It is, I guess what is it technically called, everything's in French, but uh, it's a mask. It is a regenerating mask. But here's how it works. So you wash your hair, you rinse your hair, and then, oh, it smells so good. Then you put some of this in it, you pull it like all over your hair from root to tip, just like you would a regular conditioner. But then you put a little more water on and it almost lathers. And then you let that just sit on your hair. Let that sit, wash the rest of your body. Then go back and as I say on the instructions, excessively rinse. So make sure you really, really rinse it well. Oh my goodness. When you get out, your hair, when it dries, is so soft. 
and look so shiny and beautiful. I am really loving this guy's uh, hairline. This was a Vichy serum that I bought oh, quite a while ago. It's the Idelia Life Serum. It was okay. It didn't have that beautiful Vichy smell that I remember from when I used to use Vichy all the time. And I didn't feel like it really did much for me, so I wouldn't buy that one again. This is a bummer. I cannot remember if I bought this or if it came in a pack. I hope it came in a pack because it's Algenist, which means it was a fortune if I bought it. And it's the liquid collagen. You'll see that it is completely full, but something has gone terribly wrong. It's all separated. It's like there's little yellow sticky dots of thickened goop within a suspension and it didn't look like that when I bought it or when I got it so I didn't even get to try it I can't even tell you if it's good or bad I can just tell you something went wrong this is probably oh, I don't even want to guess at how old this is oh, uh, smells good though still it's the Corez well so far it hasn't carried Corez in quite some time and I got this one before I was still covering it. It's the Corez um, lip butters. This one was in uh, Quince and I love these really great lip balms that have a nice little hint of color. Went through this which I would definitely buy in full size. This is the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. Um, it's one of the first kind of along with Eve Loam the first balm makeup removers and I'm all about the balm makeup removers and this one left a really um, almost like a refreshing feeling on my face. I would definitely try that in full size. This is a great little product. This whole Clinique Pep Start line, I'll say with the exception of one product which yeah is coming up so I'll talk about it in a minute. But it, in general I'm really really loving this line by Clinique. This is the Clinique Pep Start 2-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser and I kept that in the shower and loved in the morning, especially if I was wearing a lot of heavy moisturizer the night before. I enjoyed getting in the shower and just doing a very light polish. It's not harsh. Um, I think even if you had sensitive skin, it just gives you a nice wake up first thing in the morning. Here's one thing from that line I did not like. This is the Pep Start uh, Hydro Blur Moisturizer. Now first of all, this is deceiving. This looks like a beautiful big sample until you open it and you realize the bottom ends like a centimeter down. It, the, the pot only goes to there. So all this is empty. It's very, very thick. It's, it's, um, it felt too much to me like, I, I guess it's a hydro blur, so I guess it's made to sort of sit on the surface. But for me, when I'm putting moisturizer on, I want to feel it drink in. And this I felt like it was just like sitting on my face and um, that's just not what I like. Maybe you do like that and if you do you will enjoy it. It certainly did moisturize but it just wasn't the feel that I enjoy. This on the other hand I loved. I'm not sure there's ever been a Shiseido product I haven't loved. I don't know why I don't buy it more. I remember when I was younger I used to dream about the days when I'd have enough money to buy Shiseido products. By the time I got to the age where I had enough money to buy expensive products, the market was saturated. I mean, when I was young and dreaming about Shiseido, there was no Sephora. You basically had the Eaton's cosmetic counter, the Sears cosmetic counter, um, and if in Halifax where I was, the Mills Brother cosmetic counter. And uh, Shiseido was definitely up there until Chanel came to Halifax in about 1995 or 96. Um, in the Eaton's at the Halifax Shopping Center. And there was a beautiful European gray-haired woman about 70 who used to work that counter. She was beautiful. Anyway, I digress. Um, this is Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Resist 24 Night Cream. I really enjoyed it. Here's another company that I rarely run into a product I don't love from them. It's the Fresh, um, anything by Fresh including their perfume. I'm so into it. This is Vitamin Nectar Moisture Glow Face Cream. I think this is one of their newer face creams and I really enjoyed it. What I haven't tried yet, and I've seen a lot of women with really dry skin recommend it, which I was like, oh, maybe for Denise. It's that uh, ancient, uh, I can't even remember what it's called. It's like ancient elixirs. When I went in and looked, it's like 300 bucks a pot. So I'd have to get Mama Denise to the point where she's not overusing 
before I'd be buying her $300 pot moisturizer. Her eyes are bugging out over there right now. Um, this was nice. I enjoyed this. Uh, this is Skin Iceland Oxygen Infusion Night Cream with Glacial Flower Extract. I don't know about the glacial flowers, but most of the Skin Iceland products I really enjoy. This was a bit of a rip-off. I enjoyed it. It's the Clarins Hydra Quench Cream. Came in my advent calendar. Nice big tube. There was only about that much product in it. I think I got like three uses out of a tube that big. So that was a little bit a little bit shady and shifty. Oh, there's another product I love. This is, See, this is what I mean. Like, there are so many great products available now. It's so hard to even, like, try to pick a line and stay on it because there's just so many products you want to try and you only have one face. And, I mean, most of us only wash our face twice a day. So, anyway, this is Laneige Multi Berry Yogurt Repairing Mask. Um, a really beautiful, deep moisture mask. Loved it. And Tatcha, another brand that's just killing it. And this is their The Water Cream. I even their packaging is so gorgeous. Um, and yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful cream. This I couldn't tell you because that was so small. I only got one use out of it. It's the Clarins uh, Mission Perfection Serum. Might be great. I don't find you can tell with one use how something works. This I've had in this size many times and I love it. It's the Caudalie Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet. Beautiful moisturizer. This one does what I like. It just drinks in, leaves your skin looking plump and hydrated. This was really handy when I was on the road. It's a little sample size of Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. I swear by Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. You can put it on your cuticles, you can put it on your lips, you can put it on your butt, you can put it on your elbows, you can put it on your face if your skin's really dry. You put it wherever you want. I'll tell you where I use it a lot. If you watch us in vlogs, you know because of my arthritis in my hips. I tend to lay on my side a lot on the couch, which means I'm always propped on this elbow. And as a result, the skin on that elbow um, gets irritated a lot and it gets kind of dry. I constantly put eight hour cream on that. This was all right. It's the Estee Lauder The Smoother Universal Perfecting Primer. It's a primer like the original Smashbox primer, so one of those silicone-y things. If you're into that, you'd like this. Ooh, this was really nice. This was the Caudalie, what is it called? It's their essence, basically. Vino Perfect or Vino Perfect Essence Concentrate Blur, maybe? I don't know, no glasses and I'm trying to read this. Um, but it's basically just Caudalie's Essence. Right now I am using Hydrazen by Lancome, but I took a break from it just to try this out. I love it. It's liquidy like water, but not completely liquidy like water, like the SK2. It does sort of, um, I say molecularize, I, am, I have no science background whatsoever, but you know how when you pour it, like the Bobby Brown one does too, it's like water, but you pour it. Dogs love walking while I'm talking. Um, and it sort of stays like together until you put it on your face. This is one like that. So you don't waste a bunch of it. The SK2, for the price of it, it pours just like water and pours all over the place. And I don't like putting that into a cotton pad, again, because of the cost of it. So this was a great one. I've got a shower gel that we I went through at Christmas. It's called Snow Angel by Philosophy, and it had like little pretty Christmas trees. And you know I love the Philosophy shower gels. We also went through a huge hand cream. This is the Cucina by Fruits and Passion, and it was in the smell. Orange, uh, Sanguinelli orange and fennel. So we have like the dispenser on the sink, and then I think we've gone through two or three of these. When we finish this dispenser, we'll move into a new smell, but I love these for the kitchen. We also went through a couple of hand washes in our bathrooms. This one was Frosted Cranberry. This one was Winter White Woods, both from Bath and Body Works. I used up, you can see by how gritty and nitty this bottle is, how old it is. It's the Urban Decay All Night Makeup Setting Spray, long lasting. I don't even think the packaging looks like this anymore, um, but it's a great uh, makeup setter. And anytime I have a gig, because I sweat a lot with gigs, I always wear this. The other one I really love is uh, Kat Von D's uh, Locket Face Setting Spray. So, if you watch the vlogs, you know I'm losing some weight and I'm sort of hiding it with my hair, but you guys know how I talk about my dewlap all the time, how like that's always been the only part of my body that kind of bums me out. Well, as I'm losing weight, 
the dewlap is getting smaller, but it's like emptying the way a balloon would empty. Like I can't even, I don't even want to like point it out because it's wrinkling and a lot of stuff is starting to get loose in my skin as I'm losing weight, which I know I can take care of on the back end once everything's done, but I'm trying to do what I can to help it as it goes. So this was uh, one of those attempts. It's the Clarins Bust Beauty Extra Lift Gel Shapes and Titans. So I've been putting that on my boobs, my decollete, and my dewlap, uh, as well as the neck cream, just trying to keep things as tight as I can as I go through this weight loss process. Um, Cause I always thought, hey, I'm 49, I have no wrinkles. I had no idea it's because my skin was pushed out. So we'll see how wrinkly I actually am when this is all over. Used up one of my face SPFs. This is the La Roche-Posay and Thelios SPF 60. Very popular with dermatologists. Very popular with me for a long time. I am not gonna buy this again. I think I wanna switch from chemical sunblock to a mineral sunblock for my face, like a physical sunblock, just to try to lessen the chemical load. Plus, I've been hearing a lot of reports about what the chemicals in this do to the coral and other things in the ocean, so I'm gonna try to do my part. So as much as I've loved that for years, I don't think I'm gonna continue with that. Denise picked this up for me and I enjoyed it. It's the Body Shop Vitamin C uh, Energizing Face Mist. So I just basically spray it on between my serum and my moisturizer. It's not as cool as the original Vitamin C spray that the Body Shop came out with, which I was using when I met Denise. It was the most expensive face care thing I owned at the time. She was using no name brand body lotion on her face. She sees all my stuff and the first thing she went for was that vitamin C spray and used it up in the first two weeks I knew her. I was like, damn, it's like my most expensive product. Anyway, they didn't make it for a while and then they came back with this. It's just not quite as concentrated, but it was still a nice product. Denise loves, oops, oops, oops. Denise loves this. It's the Skin Therapy Oil from Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. She's such a Palmer's fan now. And this she used as well, the Cocoa Butter Formula Firming Butter Plus Q10. Also is supposed to tighten skin. She loves these. She's like going, yeah, over there. Got a couple of hand creams. This is the Moroccan hand cream from Moroccan Oil. It was all right, but it didn't moisturize very well. This is such a catch-22. So this is by Cake. It's called Heavy Cream Intensive Hand Repair Balm. Like, a better hand cream you will not find. Like, this will, like, just moisturize the roughest, driest, deepest chapped hands. The problem is, you need to be Arnold Schwarzenegger to get the friggin' stuff out of this tube. And with my arthritic hands, I, like, I use it, every time I get this, I use it, like, about five nights. And then I say to Denise, do you want it? Because once I squeeze like the first little bit out, I'm not strong enough to continue to squeeze it out. Like it hurts my hands. So I give it to her and you can see how she has to mangle it to get it out. It's super, super thick, but man, it's an awesome cream. This is something I wish they would put in a pot so it'd be easier for people like me to use it. By the same company, Cake, this is their delectable hand cream, which is a lot easier to use. And this one was in the scent, vanilla and cream love this stuff got a couple of hair products to show you this came in one of the advent calendars and you remember me saying oh it's a scalp detox i'm so into scalp treatments which i am i'm totally into scalp treatments these days <clears throat> this one is not good i did not enjoy it so most scalp treatments you scoop them out you put them like massage them into your scalp it obviously goes all over your hair and everything yeah you have to get through your hair to get to your scalp and there are like usually salt or sugar in it and you massage and you can feel it stimulating your scalp and then as you add water and it foams up generally the sugar or the salt disintegrates like it, it melts into the water and then everything rinses out clean these were beads and I'm suspecting I didn't research it but I'm suspecting they're actual micro beads which are horrible for the environment they don't disintegrate and they don't rinse out. So like I'm standing in the shower forever, rinsing my hair after the wash. I would even like, I would do this, then put a shampoo to try to wash them out. Rinse again forever, put my conditioner in, rinse again for a huge long time, get out, I'd be sitting on the couch and I'm like, oh, and I'm 
picking little balls off my scalp. Not attractive. Not sexy. Wouldn't do it again. It's called Grow Gorgeous Scalp Detox. Pop pour moi. Every now and then I like to take a little walk down memory lane and Herbal Essence takes me so far back. If you are my age or older, you may remember when Herbal Essence just came in one bottle. It was shaped like almost like stained glass windows at a church. So rounded at the shoulder up here, wider at the bottom. It was always green. The label was white and it had a picture of like this Mother Earth type girl with long hair with flowers in her hair. And the smell of Herbal Essence shampoo. There was only the one smell. Oh, so good. This does not quite smell like it, but it's a little bit closer, I find, than some of the like pink tone bottles. This one was the Sheer Moisture Cucumber and Green Tea Shampoo. I so wish you could buy it in the way that it used to be back then. That was always such a treat when like every now and then, once in a blue moon, one of my sisters-in-law would have a bottle of it and I would get to use it. I finished this off for Mama Denise. She was using it and got bored of it and I finished it off. It's the Bumble and Bumble Mild, Mild Marine Conditioner, uh, BB Seaweed. And I really enjoyed this because it's a very light conditioner. So for fine hair like mine, I found I had a lot of nice body after using it. This is a product I've used a number of times and always enjoy. It's by Phyto or Phyto, I'm never sure how you pronounce it. It's called the uh, Phyto Carantine Extreme. It's just like sort of a gold colored cream. And I just put it all over my hair, sort of from here down, before blow drying, and it keeps your hair nice and soft and moisturized. Denise swears by this. Uh, it is Living Proof Full Thickening Cream. Uh, it's just lovely to put in her short, fine hair. It's lovely to put in her short, fine hair um, when it's wet, and it really makes her hair look nice and full. And this bottle, like, I think she goes through maybe two of these a year, so it's really good bang for the buck. Oh, I was sad to see the end of this. What a beautiful body butter. You know how much Denise and I both enjoy Body Shop body butters. This is from their Spa of the World line, and it's called Hawaiian Kukui Cream, Rich Nurturing Body Cream. Now, I had gotten another one. They have it in three or four different formulations. And the other one that I got, I don't know if it went off or if that's a consistency or what happened to it but it was like really thickened and when I go to rub it on my skin it just made all these balls that fell off like it was I think something went wrong with that particular one we got rid of it I opened this one and this one was beautiful the smell oh my god the smell is so good it's just got that Africa spa smell that the body shop is known for and it was so moisturizing. My new favorite underarm deodorant. So, Julie the Piercer, if you're watching, I remember you telling me you swear by the La Vanilla natural deodorant. You guys know I'm trying not to use uh, silicones and aluminum actual antiperspirants, except for the days when I really, really have to. Um, so I was using La Vanilla for a long time too, and I'm using it right now because I had a couple that I'm gonna use up. But Tarte came out with their own. First of all, I love it. The colors are so pretty. And it's just called Glee Clean Green. And it's a vi they're saying it's a vegan deodorant. It is got a mo the most beautiful smell. It does just smell clean. It's not like the rest. The La Vanilla, you know, you're smelling either coconut or grapefruit. or This just smells like somebody just took a shower. Like just clean and fresh. What I like about this more than the La Vanilla, I find the La Vanilla doesn't like glide on my skin well. It dries out quick and it gets kind of hard and you, you kind of have to pull at the skin a bit. This one is really smooth and it glides on really easy. Like I said, I had I think two of the La Vanilla on backup, which I'm going to use. But once they're used up, this is going to be my, my permanent jam. Tarte Clean Green Vegan Deodorant great product. We're kind of a Tarte household. We use a lot of Tarte products. There's an oldie but a goodie, the Norwegian Formula Foot Cream by Neutrogena. The Norwegian Formula Foot Cream or Hand Cream or basically anything by Neutrogena for the body. I love. Probably gonna laugh because I do this every now and then but I get excited. 
when I empty a pen. You know I'm a stationary fan. This was the Pentel Energel uh, bullet tip in a 0 0.5 size. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I've been doing my daily pages every day and I emptied yet another pen. Oh, these were so nice. In fact, I smell like them right now because I'm still wearing the perfume. Denise got me for my birthday last year a gift kit of Shalimar. First time I smelled Shalimar, I worked at Shoppers Drug Mart, Halifax, Nova Scotia on Fenwick Street with a woman named Patty McCann who um, her boyfriend Kevin had long curly hair and he played electric guitar. So Patty and I kind of had the same taste in dudes back then. And he is now her husband, and they have, I think, two or three kids. Uh, God, they must, have been, they must be together now close to 30 years. But back then, when we were both working for, like, minimum wage at Shoppers Drug Mart, for her birthday one year, it was either her birthday or their anniversary, he bought her a bottle of Shalimar perfume. And it was the real perfume, and I remember her letting me smell it, and I just thought, oh, my God, that is the most sexy exude like luxurious extravagant thing I've ever smelled and for years I thought about Shalimar perfume and never ever bought it for myself but I talked about it all the time so last year on my birthday Denise got me this gift kit which had the body lotion and the shower gel and the bottle of eau de parfum which I am about halfway through right now and um, I loved you know, I love layering my scent. I will say this, I say it about just about every perfumed lotion that I talk about. If they have the cream version, you should buy the cream version. The perfumed body lotions are not very moisturizing. So I would recommend those in the summer, um, but to look for the creams in the winter. I had the same thought about these. Really sad to be at the end of this. I have used this Quo Purifying Brush Shampoo for I want to say maybe 10 years and they have discontinued it. So this is the last bottle that you'll see of this in my empties. They did reformulate it. It's in a like clear bottle now, different, doesn't have the pump. I bought a couple, I haven't tried them yet, uh, but really, really sad to see this go. Quo Purifying Brush Shampoo. And Denise used a soap from the body shop. This is the Wild Argan Oil Massage Soap. All the Wild Argan from the body shop smells fabulous. Got a bunch of lip stuff to show you. Some of it overpriced, but still to my mind worth the money. This I've talked about before. It's so wickedly expensive. It's the Sol Janeiro Brazilian Kiss lip butter it's by the people who bring you the bum bum cream and it's so good it's so amazing like i even i dug my finger down into it to get every speck of it out but it's like 25 or 30 dollars and it's so short like it's a fat stick but it's so short you go through it so quick um but oh it's so good so in the winter i thought you know your lips need a little extra moisture we splurge. This is a new product, not quite as expensive, but sort of equally not as much product, uh, but really great. It's by Drunk Elephant, and I think it's supposed to be pronounced Lippy Balm because they spelt it L I P P E Balm. Um, Drunk Elephant, a really great line. Again, it's, it was like fat. I dug down into it too, but it wasn't very long, but a really nice lip balm. This is a lip balm that Denise swears by. It's Elizabeth Arden Eight Hour Cream Intensive lip repair balm. We're big Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream fans in this house. Here's another one of those Corez tinted lip balms. This one in the color pomegranate. You always see these. Uh, the Body Shop lip butter. This one was I think maybe coconut or no. Uh, hazelnut I think that one was. My favorite of the Body Shop ones. The strawberry. This is really nice. This is by EOS but you know how EOS it's always a little ball of moisture. This is an actual like regularly shaped chapstick and it's really, really nice. This I love by Fresh. It's the Fresh Sugar line, uh, Sugar Lip Treatment Perfecting Wand. So on days when you're in a hurry, you don't really have time to go in with the lip scrub, but you do have a little bit of dead skin. This is kind of a two-in-one because the applicator head 
has these little silicone nubs on it. So you can, let's see if I can get anything to come out. Yeah, a tiny little bit came up there. A little bit of the product came up and then you just massage it onto the lips with the nub so that it exfoliates while it's putting the treatment on. Now the treatment, I don't know if you can get a sense of that, it's very sticky. So if you don't like sticky lip products, you might not love it, but it lasts and I, I really, really enjoyed it. This is a new product to me, and Denise got it, got me like uh, two gift packs for Christmas. I'm so glad she got me the two of them because I love it. It's by the brand Kopari. They're that coconut oil brand on Sephora, and this is called Lip Love. Now, she got me some that have color. I haven't tried the colored ones yet. This is just a clear, yeah, there's nothing left in that. It's just a clear, beautiful very glossy looking lip balm so you're treating your lips but they look really beautiful at the same time because they're so glossy love it and still going through that clinique thing of chubby sticks from last christmas used up another one this is clinique chubby stick moisturizing color balm in the color fuller fig there there's like it's just you can't screw them up right there's just like what you see is all the product you get i bought the whole long kit they had them out again this christmas i still have more than half left from last christmas so you'll keep seeing them and a container of stinkies as denise calls it this is the box from her newest bottle of tom ford oud wood so freaking expensive so worth every dime that's the lid from her old bottle this was the first one I bought her. It was the smallest one. What is it? It's like 30 mils. 30 mils, I think it's like 180 bucks. The biggest one is 800 bucks, but I did it out. Like we did the math. It's the cheapest way to buy it. But anyway, we went up to like, I think she's got like the 100 mil this time or maybe the 50 or 60 mil. Anyway, I don't care what it costs. This smells so good on Denise in the winter. Um, She'll be getting this every winter. This is one I love and I have used a lot and I got this really great mini and my minis are overflowing. So in between using up big bottles of perfume, I'm trying to use up my minis. Uh, and this of course is the Elizabeth, Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. And I just think in the mini form, the bottle looks so cool. And it's, it's a beautiful smell. I love all the Nirvanas. Also from that mini kit, uh, Elizabeth and James Nirvana Bourbon. I think this one was... No, this one was Rose. Uh, yeah, I had the Bourbon in a, a previous one. Oh, they're such good perfumes. They're just really beautiful, sexy, smoldery smells. Um, and I, I think it was a great idea that they came up with these little minis so that people could see which ones they liked best. Um, I have this in full size and it's I feel like all of them except for white white i can wear in the summer the rest of them i find are more like fall winter maybe early spring smells really really nice i'm thinking of doing a project pan uh for 2018 18 products that i want to hit pan on in 18 and i'm thinking i'm going to do it as part of vloguary let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in that just because i'm trying to work through my perfumes i'm thinking about that um this is one of my favorite perfumes. It was a gorgeous mini I used. It's uh, um, by Lancome Tresor, but La Nuit Tresor. So friggin' sexy. Now this one, I put up a picture and said I was using it. It's the Tokyo Dark uh, Tainted Love Perfume. So many of you on Instagram are like, oh, it's my favorite. I love it. This mini must have went off. There was absolutely no smell. Like even when, just when you unscrew the top and smell the bottle, you could hardly smell anything. And when I put it on me, you could smell nothing. So I still have no idea what Tainted Love smells like because something went wrong with this bottle. This I was a little disappointed in because one of you said it's your favorite. So I was hoping I was going to love it. It's the Lady Gaga scent. It's a black perfume, which kind of weirded me out. Although weird, what's left in it no longer looks black. So I don't know how they do that coloring, but... It just, it didn't do anything with my body chemistry. It did, it, I was just like, meh. And here's another one. I, I bought um, the regular uh, My Burberry in full size last Christmas. I wore it all December. I bought the one that had like the little glitter in it. 
I had to give it away because it just it doesn't smell like anything on me. I love the idea that they're like it's as classic as a Burberry trench coat, which it's always been my dream to own a Burberry trench coat. They don't make them in my size. So when this one came out, the My Burberry Black, I thought this might have a little bit more smoke, a little more heat in it. It kind of smelled the same on me as the original My Burberry. So as much as I want a Burberry trench coat, I guess the perfume is just not for me. And uh, used up four little travel perfumes. This one is a Prada Luna. Denise, it's for, for men. Denise used this. It was all right. This is the original Eight and Bob Eau de Perfume, which was a men's one that Denise tried. All right, none of them smell anywhere close to that Tom Ford. And this is Gentleman Givenchy, which again, it was all right. Doesn't stand up to Tom Ford. And now a little candle action. Denise got me a, the most beautiful gift kit from Victoria's Secret of um oh what's it called i had it before in pink bombshell so you know how bombshell usually comes in the pink striped bottle well they had one sort of a special flanker this holiday season called bombshell nights and it was all gold packaging and there was a body lotion the bottle of eau de toilette and then this really pretty gold candle Ugh. i know like victoria's secret perfumes aren't sophisticated but sophisticated or not they smell great i love it kind of reminds me a bit of if you recall in the late 80s there was a really cheap perfume called exclamation and this reminds me of it a little bit anyway i really enjoyed burning the candle and i will enjoy using the scent these were candles that i found on amazon fell in love with for the holiday season this one was in monterey pine beautiful double walled glass with a little snuffer on top just really really love these this one as i said was monterey pine this one was winter current and look how beautifully they burn like right to the bottom this is a candle that we are currently burning and this is the beautiful fancy box that it came in um, this is a byredo candle there's the candle itself so gorgeous this is their scent vanquish um i love byredo i've bought uh their perfume bald d'afrique i haven't used it yet uh, but i look forward to it the other one of theirs that i want to try is gypsy water but i find you know expensive fragrances like that buying the candle is a great way to figure out if you love the scent or not before you actually invest in the perfume and the packaging is over the top, but lovely. Speaking of over the top packaging that's expensive, but I can't help it, I love it. It is uh, Tom Ford. Tom Ford candles I was paying a fortune for because I was trying to buy them on Amazon. And um, now finally Sephora, because the Tom Ford website does not deliver to Canada. Tom, we love you up here. Hook us up, man. My wife wanted a pair of your $700 sunglasses for Christmas, and if you would have mailed it to me, she would have got them. So I really hope Tom Ford's website will clue in that we snowbirds up here in the north love him as much as his own country folk do. This scent I bought for myself. It's Tobacco Vanille. It's a very masculine scent. If you are someone who thinks that women's perfume should just smell like sugar and spice, you won't like it. But I love, love, love it. And I got the candle. The box is just so extravagant. That's the empty candle. All used up, burnt again, right to the bottom. The wax is black or dark brown in these. They're such beautiful, you know, his aesthetic, right? It's just through the roof. And there is a snuffer. So what I did is I bought one gift pack with the snuffer and then I just keep the snuffer. It's a whole other glass that looks like this that just goes upside down right over the top of this. And then each time I just buy the candle because it's cheaper than when you buy with the snuffer and I reuse the snuffer. And I will not put that, like I'm gonna clean that and use it in my, in my makeup room because it's so nice. And the smell is, ugh. And in the area of affordable candles, we get these at Chapters Indigo. This is the Veluspa. This was in the Sejo Persimmon smell. 
and it smelled just so beautifully you really get the persimmon smell and this one didn't burn quite as low as they usually do but I think what happened is my final wick trim I, I got a little too crazy and trimmed it too short and that's why it didn't burn down because these normally burn down beautifully like your tin is basically empty when you're done and I think I pay about twenty dollars for one of these two wicks and, the, and it has a really nice scent throw. We also used up three plugins. This was in Spiced Apple Toddy. I think this was a cranberry of some sort. And this one was Tis the Season. See them in every single video. <laughs> Wet ones, antibacterial wipes from my makeup room. A Little bit of nail stuff. Um, these were pre-moistened nail polish remover pads, Sephora brand. Um, you get like 20, wipes in there it says one wipe will do your whole hand i don't think so necessarily but i like to have these for when i travel because twice in my life i have had nail polish remover leak in my suitcase it's disastrous like it ruins everything it touches so these are just a nice safe thing to have i always have them in my travel kit just in case i get a chip and i just want to take the polish off or i need to smooth out the chip it's a nice alternative and i used four in cocos if you want to see what they look like go to my instagram and of course more wet ones and you see these quite a bit too i swear by these these are the well well kept wipes I buy them at Sephora. They come in all different patterns and I use them to clean my iPhone, my eyeglasses, my laptop, my computer screen. Um, they are just really, really great. They don't leave a residue on the screen and it gets it like absolutely clean. I swear by them. Now I'll show you a bunch of this packaging. So from that amazing uh, 3000 point perk that I got from Sephora, we've been using some of the masks out of that. These are the sleeping masks. Denise and I always share one of these and we were able to put all over our face in our decollete. This one was the Lotus Sleeping Mask, which is moisturizing and smoothing. This one, oh, Denise ripped the top off. Ew, it says it on the side. Algae Sleeping Mask, which is a melting gel cream. The consistency of this one was a little weird. It was very much like a gel, but I still enjoyed it. These I really liked. This is the Bosha Saki Brightening Hydrogel Eye Masks. Uh, brightens, firms, and hydrates. You get three sets in here. They are really refreshing. They feel lovely on the eye. I don't love the shape of them. It, I found them a little hard to position, but I do love the effect. You've seen me talk about these before. These are the Sephora Hair Masks. This one is in Coconut, uh, which is a repairing and nourishing one. It has the shower cap in the top and the lotion in the bottom. You put it on, go to bed, wake up and shower, wash your hair, beautifully soft. Love these pharmacy face masks. In terms of sheet masks, the first couple times Denise and I used these, we screwed up because we didn't realize there was like a backing on the front and the back. and. Like I ended up wearing my mask with the backing. She ended up wearing the backing and throwing the mask out. Well, you know, it was confusing. But once we figured it out, these are my favorite sheet masks for the face because they are the consistency of a condom. So they really adhere to the face. They don't fall out. Like some of them, like, you, you gotta lay like this to keep them stuck. These pharmacy ones are amazing. I would, I would get these again. This particular one was the um, Rhubarbet's Extract Anti-Wrinkle. I think you'll see a few more plus the box that came in. This was the uh, Bosha Charcoal Pore Minimizing Hydrogel Mask. Uh, so it was like this black sheet mask. It was a little weird. I didn't want to take a picture because I felt like I was wearing blackface. Um, but it worked, it worked lovely. Um, I just found it a bit small for my face. This you've seen before. These are beauty deals that I get from Ula Henriksen that I take in my travel kit. They're just blister packs of a full day, morning and night of serum and moisturizer. Yeah, that's the box that you get those uh, pharmacy masks in. And there's three masks in each box. One is firming, one's brightening, one's anti-wrinkle. Um, my favorite face mask right now. And there's the other two packets from it. That's the brightening that's the firming I used these last night oh my goodness this is what an eye gel should be 
I don't know if you can see the picture on the back. These eye gels come here, they come all the way, all across the under eye, and then up the crow's feet. Like, you know how most of them look like an exclamation mark, and you either like, if you want to treat your crow's feet, you put the fat part there, and then this part's kind of too round, and you have a hard time to place it. Or if you're trying to treat the under eye, you put the fat part in, but then it's like halfway down on your cheek, and it's, it, do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't really fit anybody's eye that I can see. These are like, so perfectly shaped. I can't remember what I paid for them. It's by Karuna and you get uh, four pair in each box. And boy, were they moisturizing. Some of them, by the time the 15 minutes up, when you take them off, they're almost dry. This was still like, I used it, like I massaged it around my eye area because it was still so much serum on the product. I would definitely recommend these and buy them again. Oh, those are just the packets from those Bosha eye gels. This is more of the Sephora sleeping hair gels. This one was in Rose, which was smoothing and anti-frizz. And some hand masks from Sephora. This one was the Aloe Vera, which is ultra moisturizing and beautifying. And then we have the Avocado, which was nourishing and repairing. And the night before last, Denise and I both did foot masks. This is the lavender, refreshing and relaxing. There, that's the case those eye gels come in. Like, can you see the shape? See how, like, it's awesome. So awesome. Like, it's so simple. Like, make something that fits a person's face. Like, why doesn't every company do that? Anyway, this was um, Aerobian Ginseng Shot Mask. Nice same same complaint it's made of that weird tissue paper that handy wipes used to come in and it doesn't stick to your face and we're coming to the end this is all we've got left one pair of false eyelashes these are quo 820s oh i was sad to see this go you might remember it must be five or six years ago denise is like yeah it's got to be at least five years when Elber Elbaz was still the artistic director at Alanvin and he did a collaboration with Lancome and they took four of their iconic mascaras and he did special packaging for each one. I bought all four. He also did eyeshadow kits. I bought all four of those too. And I kept them in their packaging because, you know, mascara is fine until you crack it, once you crack it. Like, it kills me some of these people that in their project pans are including mascara, which they want to use by the end of the year. Mascaras they've been using for however long. Like, for me, three months tops. And, like, that mascara, I have to really love to use it that long. I generally, month and a half, two months, I'm good. I just don't want pink eye. Um, so, anyway, this was the Hypnos Drama. It's the last one I have from that collection. I love uh, Hypnos Drama mascara to begin with, but that packaging, oh, so sad. So sad to see it go. I used up a clear brow gel by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. I love it, I swear by it. Use this up if you are any hair color, one shade lighter than mine, and like forever on the lighter scale, I would recommend this. It's the IT Cosmetics Brow Power Waterproof Perfector Clinically Proven 5-in-1 Powder Gel Pencil. And this one was in the color Universal Taupe. So you can see the color there. It's like a taupe color. Their idea is that this color is supposed to be all anybody needs no matter what your coloring is. I would say this is... 75% universal taupe, okay? So I have used their dark brown one and I love it. It It is the pencil, it's got a spoolie on one end and the pencil, yeah, there's a little bit left there. It really is like a gel type consistency so it really stays in place. I hate it when I put a brow pencil on and then when I spoolie, it pulls the color all over the place. So this really stays in place, it's a great formula. The taupe was a little bit light for someone with my hair color. And if you were a black person um, or even like a dark brown person, I think this might be light for you. 
However, I could get away with it. I mean, I used it up. So it really does suit a lot of different colors. But the dark brown one, which I used up a long time ago, is the one that I prefer. But it's a great formulaic, uh, formula. Um, she really, you know, she doesn't have a ton of products. And when she first started with It Cosmetics, there were just a handful. But I like her aesthetic. It's like she perfects it and then releases it. Like that CC cream, I don't think there has been another other than Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I don't think there's any other face product that I have like used up, repurchased, used up, repurchased. I've just I'm on a no buy for 2018, but I did just order a CC cream because I've used up my other one and it's I cannot live without the It Cosmetics um, CC cream. So anyway, it's a good pencil. It's just a little too light for me. Who knew I would talk that long about an eye pencil? Okay, so Charlotte Tilbury and I. <laughs> Let me talk about my relationship with Charlotte Tilbury. I couldn't love her any more than I do. I love how over the top she is. I love the big crazy red hair. I love the darling, darling, what you gotta do, darling. I'm from a beast. So I, I, I love all that. I, like, I just can't get enough of it. And the more like over the top it is, the more I love it. When she first started her cosmetic line, or at least when I became introduced to it, I was just like, I'm in, I'm sold. I bought, I think, three or four of her, you know, the, the complete looks. I have the Ingenue, the Rock Chick, um, a couple other ones. Gorgeous products. The, uh, the highlighter and bronzing um, combo, what's it called? Hollywood, whatever. It's in that beautiful rose gold packaging. And I, I love it all. Um, this is the only product so far that I'm like, eh, I don't know. It's her Feline Flick Liquid Eye Pencil. And it's just like, okay, of course it looks beautiful there. But when you're putting it on, first of all, if you're not good with liquid pencil, it's more forgiving. Because you have to like work a little harder to get it to come out. But once I've started drawing the line, I feel like the tip dries out. And then I have to like wait for it to fill up again before I can get what I want. And nine times out of ten when I was using this, I would like faff around with it for ten minutes. And then finally I'd be like, just give me my Kat Von D Trooper liner and, and done. You know, because Kat Von D's is just so black and it just comes out so easy. So I don't love this. I'll tell you the other thing I'm weirding out uh, with Charlotte Tilbury is I just watched, um, uh, what's her face, uh, Hughes. Her last name's Hughes. I just did a book review on her book, Pretty Iconic. Clara? Clara? No. Anyway, I'll think of it. She has a YouTube channel and she does um, these in the bathroom with. So she did like Bob, in Bobby Brown's bathroom with her. She did the in the bathroom with Charlotte Tilbury and Charlotte went off on this thing about Charlotte puts makeup on to go to bed. <laughs> and like nobody, including her husband, the baby daddy of her son has ever seen her without makeup on her face and I don't know something about that weirded me out <laughs> I, I just I was like what your bedtime makeup anyway um yeah once I have let you put a baby inside me you need to be okay with seeing me without my mascara on that's how I feel but to each their own this came in my looks fantastic um Advent calendar. It's the uh, Douce or Douce uh, mascara, volumizer mascara. I remember I pishot it when I opened it. It was friggin' fantastic. It, look at that big, nice fat brush, but it's not like universally fat. There's like a fat side, a medium side, and then a short side. Man, I could like, I built up some pretty nice lashes with this. I don't think you can get this in North America, but if you're watching me from England, I'd buy this if I were you. Here's another limited packaging that I'm sad to see go. This is Marc Jacobs um, Velvet Noir Mascara, which Marc Jacobs and Tom Ford, uh, like I know Tim and Wyatt are our husbands for Denise and I, but like if I could pick a second set of husbands, it would be <laughs> Tom Ford and Marc Jacobs. Like I love both of those men in ways that I cannot even describe. Like I'm, I'm, I would love to interview them separately obviously um, because they're very different men but they both have an aesthetic that I love 
And I love that his explanation, Mark's explanation for this mascara, which for Christmas this year he put in this great zebra print container. I feel like he was saying, oh, Candy would love this. I'll make zebra. Um, when he was a little boy, he'd watch his mother at the vanity and trying to make her eyelashes look dark, she would take a velvet ribbon and take a straight razor and scrape off the little bits of velvet and then put it in her mascara cake because you know how mascara used to be a solid cake and use it to make her eyelashes look more rich and more full and thick and that's what he was getting at with this velvet noir mascara and it is a great mascara it's super dark super thick super rich um, and just the fact that he put it in this packaging at Christmas made me love it even more. This is one of my all-time favorite mascaras. It's Dior Show. And this particular one was in Electric Cobalt Blue. 15 years now. I keep trying colored mascara. They don't look good on me. I will keep trying them. Doesn't matter because I love them. But they just don't look right on me. Before I could afford expensive mascara, this was always my jam. You know how everybody used the Maybelline Great Lash pink and green thing? Well, my drugstore mascara of choice is this. There is no other uh, mascara in the drugstore I love as much as this. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous, but carbon black. So not the one that has kind of like a gray um, tube. You need the one that is carbon black. And for a drugstore mascara, man, it goes the distance. I really, really love it. And every now and then, I just like to take a walk down memory lane and pick one up. Now, I am not someone who likes um, a primer on my lashes. Every now and then, I'll buy like a gift kit that gives me a primer. Of all the primers I have tried, this, this one was my favorite until the... Um, their Real Benefit Primer came out. That is now my favorite. This, I would say, is my second favorite. It's the Lancome Primer, but it's a white one. And the problem with the white primers for me is I can't stand trying to cover it all in after. I also find it makes my lashes feel spiky or look spiky, like they don't look soft. Like that Velvet Noir, your lashes look wet even after they dry. They look so soft and silky. When I use this primer, it makes my lashes look like eh, and I don't I just don't dig that aesthetic. So I would never buy this again. Last three products. We got a little stinky here that Denise used. It is the Dior Sauvage. It's a beautiful scent for men. Can't compete with Tom Ford, but beautiful. The other thing about this um, that I prefer her in the oud wood every dude wears this like this is such a popular male fragrance and i like fragrances that are a little different like when i was wearing um black orchid by tom ford i checked into a hotel and the woman behind the counter was like i, I don't want to weird you out i just want to say number one you smell fantastic and number two you smell so unusual and i was like oh my god that's the best compliment ever. She said, no, like, when you walked up, my first thought was this scent is amazing and I've never smelled it before. And I, of course I said, it's Tom Ford, Black Orchid. And we had this conversation, but ah, of course, cause he, that's his thing, right? He doesn't make perfumes that are like, gonna appeal to the masses. He, he, he has a very specific lane. So when she wears Oud Wood, like I never smell that on anyone else. Savage by Dior, like you smell on every second guy on the street. So, um, this was a tester I got from Mac. It's the Mac False Lashes Extreme Black. This is interesting. The first two times I used it, I really loved it. It gave me all kinds of lift and extension. Give me all kinds of lift and extension and separation. And then by like the third time I used it, it started getting clumpy and dry. And that's just a small tester. So I wonder what it's like when you buy it in full size. The final product, a Bobbi Brown product. Now, since Bobbi Brown was kind of moved out of her company by Estee Lauder, um, I don't have the same feelings toward Bobbi Brown that I used to have, 
Also because you'll notice now that she's no longer involved, the newest campaign for spring and summer 2018, the models are 13. And like, that's not who's buying Bobbi Brown makeup. Like that's, ugh, anyway. This video is already an hour long, so I'm not going to get down a big runway on this. But just to say, this is a product of hers I love in every other color. This is the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick. This particular one I didn't love. This was in the color Sand Dune, and it was just a really boring, dull um, brown. I like the ones that have a shimmer. I think one's called like Pink Sand. Um, but it's they're a great product to just slap on and go or to use as a base under a shadow. I just wouldn't buy that particular color again. I still love like her ba the base products. I don't, don't want to say her anymore because it's no longer her. I still love the base products of the line. I just don't like what's happening to the line now that Estee Lauder is completely taken over it. That brings us to the end of this empties video. Thank you for sticking around all the way to the end. I'm, I'm trying to do them more often so they won't be as long, but you keep telling me you love these long videos. So hopefully you enjoyed this one too. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Share it with all your pals. Make sure that you're subscribed and following me on Instagram and Twitter um, where you will find out first when my book, which I am currently writing, is ready to roll. Thanks once again, and I will see you in the next video.